people with full bellies are less likely to go to war. They would definitely be in a better place now. And so, they're, they're... the problem is... 20 years ago. How do you know what happened 20 years ago? You're only about 25 years old. I'm 40. 40? Yeah. Oh, I'm 75. <laughs> people don't believe me. Yeah. Uh, okay, you know a lot about what's going on, yeah. Are uh, you uh, studied? You know, what is your background? I'm just a ran random guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I have a book in the library there. You're free to read it. The Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. I read it. I don't know. You, might, you should try reading Israel by Noah Tishby. She's a, she's a li very liberal Zionist who's against the settlements and the Iranian government. But it'll really teach you. I went through five, five years of Cheder, you know, which was you know, pro-Zionist. And Mr. Cohen you know, gave us you know, little blue boxes to put our money into as well. I know the whole story. So, well, in, if you're denying October, what happened on October 7th, you don't know everything. So. Well, like, okay, like this, uh, like if you want to do a calculation of October 7th, you know, start with the official, you know, latest official number from Israel, 1,139. Why do you keep changing the number? But last Israel time, keeps you, on changing the number. You kept changing the number. Last time you said that to the other people, it was like 1,200 something. No, 1,139. Okay, so of those, those aren't all civilians, you know, the Israelis that died. You know, they were soldiers who died. And the, and the one time that I saw any sort of figure, you know, released by the military, was there were 325 Israeli soldiers who were killed. Okay? Yeah. Well, they so were take off 325, people. you know, from that number, and you get the, you know, number of civilians. Some of them were reserve soldiers who were fighting in a battle with the Hamas, you know, fighters. But they were, they, they were like just probably... Some you know, of them were killed by tank fire when they were being held as hostages. Some of them were killed by Apache helicopter fire when they were trying to escape, you know, from the Hamas, you know, at the rave festival. So how many civilians were actually killed by Hamas? Tell me. Well, I think about about, about maybe make. two, three hundred, <laughs> right? Uh, okay. Let's just say it was zero. But two, three hundred is killed every day. Right. So, but what I'm saying is, okay, to use another example, let's say the Holocaust only killed three million Jews and not six million. Does it really make a difference? It's sort of like six hundred, six million, it's a tragedy either way. It's the same thing, October 7th, the number doesn't really matter, in the same way that whether, you know, one Palestinian dies because of this or, you know, a million, to me it's, you know, it's just as bad. It's, it's, it's horrible. So if we start arguing over narratives and blah, blah, I mean, there are Holocaust deniers who go, remember, with zero. It's fake. I'm, I'm contesting it's more the use of the word massacre. Sure. It was a battle. It wasn't a massacre. I mean, and I Israel lost the battle. Of, well, I and in order to regain its stature and its military multiple, prowess, multiple it attacked back. villages would say it's a massacre, generally speaking. But I think they occupied all, the, all the villages and all the, all, uh, the around, the around Gaza. It you know why? Yeah. Because that's where those Hamas fighters' grandparents originally came from before they were made into refugees in 1947. Those were originally Palestinian villages. I'm not sure about that, but I'll take your word for it. For the sake because of if you look at the maps of 47, you know, in the partition plan, Gaza is twice as big as it is now. Okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. Um, but my point is, when we start arguing, like, you could say, well, the Nakba never happened, or it wasn't as bad as you say, that doesn't really help, because it's not about truth, it's about narrative, and it's about what people have built their history on. So, instead of saying, this didn't happen this way, or your numbers are wrong, which, if you want to have an argument just about that, we could, like, bring facts and debate it all day, but if you're just trying to solve this issue, all you can say is, like, well, that's your narrative, this is my narrative, but we have to figure out something that's going to make us all have the future. I don't, I don't want to argue it's about It's been who done already. But Rabin was killed. He was assassinated. It, it's been solved. It's all, it's all been solved already. But it hasn't been implemented. You know, I think uh, Israel lacks a, a friendly part. Like, the U.S. never pushes back. And in the 90s, uh, Clinton could have pushed back. He could have said, I don't care who got assassinated. Oh, the Clinton so parameters. Yeah, one of the ambassadors said to me. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, it's been a while now, so I gotta get home eventually. Yeah, it has been a while. We've been talking a long time. It's good to say, uh, conversation. I, I don't yeah. Think stuff like this really helps, um, even for what you're trying to do. How else do you end the occupation? They're not willing to do it. This they have to be to obliged to do so. To you got a green light. Okay. Uh, okay. Very, doing the right Next Sunday, I'll be here probably. All right. Okay.
But I'm glad that we were able to... I'll look at this. I'll, I'll look at all the videos on the website. I wish I could sit down. <laughs> you bring a folding fold up chair. Oh, I got too much to carry. But I've made myself a sandwich. I'm going to eat something this time. It's cold. It's not too cold. Before I couldn't bring any food with because it would all freeze. <laughs> yeah, last time was a lot colder. My sandwich. Yeah, cheese and spinach. Vegetarian. Since 56 years. No to genocide. <laughs> 